Hey guys and welcome to a Jaeger task guide, the survivalist path thrifty. For this task you're going to need to stash one Ishka ration pack and one bottle of water in the ZB016 as well as in the ZB014 on woods. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you find this guide useful. So when it comes to actually buying the Ishka ration packs as well as the water bottle you can actually get them both from the therapist at tier 1. So for the Iskra Russian pack, it is one syringe and you can buy two at a time. And when it comes to the water bottles, you can either just buy it outright or do a bar to trade for a H202. But there is a spawn in Interchange and in Woods that I'm going to take you to that you should check out if you are looking to find these in Raid. So once you're on Interchange, as you can see on the map on the screen, we're going to head over to Goshen. So we are here at Goshen just like so and if you watch the previous two guides you know that this is a pretty decent spot to grab yourself some food items. Now all over these shelves do, food, do spawn food items but the best place actually to spawn the actual food items so the Iskra lunch boxes that we're going to need and the bottles of water is over here on the far left side. So anything on these shelves right here can spawn the Iskra lunch boxes as well as the water bottles. I must admit I do find the water bottles a bit more common than the Iskra lunch boxes. But you do have the tool chests in the back over there where you can get the parts required for the actual barter trade. In this spot right here there doesn't actually look to be any water bottles which does suck. But um, you do have to do a few runs but then again there's a giant store so there could be some on the other side as well. Another great location for food is in Woods, up in the north eastern part of the map where we have the town. Now there's three houses that you're going to be realistically looking for. As you can see that is one house, two house and three house. Basically they're all really good for food. Just walk in there, find the kitchen as you can see. You've got some oat flakes and drinks and like stuff on the tables and each of these houses are really really good for food and realistically it would take you either if you either hit interchange or woods you should get this task done extremely quickly without much of a struggle and plus if you are doing polyclium hobo and you have to kill the scavs on woods you might as well just do two in one especially up here as you can get a decent amount of scavs that do spawn up here as well up in the town so now where to plant the items the items do need to be planted on woods in this map you can see the two locations that are highlighted on the left side of the map is the zb014 and on the right side of the map is the zb016 we're going to be hitting up the zb016 bunker first so we are in game right so and this is the entrance right here they are both extracts which can spawn green smoke meaning that the extract is actually up if the extract is up then well there's going to be green smoke and it is temperamental so it's not always up in this kind of but as you can see right here it is not up over there is the crashed airplane that you had to go to basically to to get jaeger's letter uh go to jaeger's camp sorry over there is sniper mountains and then just down here is the um the train station so once you're entering the the bunker just like so you can head down a flight of stairs Pull it around to the right hand side and then head down another flight of stairs. This is the box right here that you're going to need to mark it. What I would actually recommend you do is just aim before you plant the item. Turn off any sorts of lights and then hold down your F key so you can plant the item. Once you planted the item the first one you do have to open up your inventory again and then close it again so you can plant the second item as it doesn't actually refresh. If you do die whilst you're placing the items, you do need to come back and place the items again. But let's say you've done zero, um, once you've done this bunker, so zero is 16, and you happen to die on your way over to 14, it doesn't, you don't need to come back and plant the items here again. You just need to go and plant the items over in zero 14. And now we're going to make our way over to the left side of the map where the ZB014 bunker is. Down there is the scav house. Over, if you follow it continuing that way, that will lead you to the checkpoint. You can see Sniper Mountain just over there. And just over that little ridge right there is Attachment Cabin. We're actually going to head on the this direction. So walking away from the Attachment Cabin. We're going to walk all the way until we can see the wall. Basically, what we're going to be looking for is a giant rock that's kind of like in the, in the wall, just like so. 
and then just here is the extra we're going to need to plant the items as you can see with this one it does actually have green smoke so the extract is actually up so you can actually extract from this if you do have the zero zb014 key so again with the last one just come down here you can see the broken box what you want to do again is just aim in that direction which is the way down and plant your items and then of course open up your inventory when you plant the first one just so you can reset your timer you also don't need to plant them both in the same raid as well so if you bring in a lot and you happen to spawn next to zb014 you can just go in there plant the items and then dip and then come in again and go to 0b16 and then plant the items during that raid if you are struggling with this task or just in general wanting to find people to play with head over to prana.tv slash discord we do have a decently large looking for group community as well as a sherpa system so if you just need a bit more help than normal then we are there to help you hopefully you guys found this guide useful if you did don't forget to leave a like and subscribe or possibly consider joining the channel membership where you can unlock early videos as well as a few custom rewards don't forget to check out Piranha.tv as well. That's a one-stop shop for all of your guides, tasks, keys, all those kind of things in one location. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful and I'll see you in the next video. And a big thank you to all of my Patreons supporting me over on patreon.com slash Piranha TV. And a huge thank you to JDam, Freddy and Beansy. Without this kind of support, I wouldn't be able to do what I do.